In more than 70% of all cases of chronic myeloic leukemia, tumorigenesis is based on the fusion of the genes BCR and ABL1. Therefore, the BCR ABL kinase protein is the main target of therapy of these tumors. The mechanism of the therapeutic drug imatinib, registered commercially as Gleevec, is based on the equilibrium between the two conformational states. The drug is able to bind to the closed conformation and to fix the enzyme in an inactive state. It binds selectively to the closed conformation, thus removing the closed molecules from equilibrium. Thus, Gleevec shifts the equilibrium towards the closed and inactive conformation, which is unable to bind ATP. This results in a decrease in both the number of kinase molecules in the open conformation and in its enzymatic activity. Gleevec was developed in 1995 in a directed high-throughput screen for small molecules with inhibitory activity against the ABL kinase. It was the first anti-cancer drug with an inhibitory effect on tumor-specific enzymatic activity. Because of its high specificity, its negative side effects on non-tumor cells are very limited. Gleevec significantly prolongs the lifespan of more than two-thirds of all patients with CML-type leukemia. Gleevec not only inhibits the enzymatic activity of the BCR ABL kinase, but also of other tyrosine kinases. Among them is the C-kit, a homologue of the PDGF receptor tyrosine kinase. The elevated expression of C-kit is a major cause of the development and progression of gastrointestinal stroma tumors. Thus, these tumors can be treated by Gleevec, prolonging the lifespan of affected patients. Gleevec binds to the catalytic domain of the BCR ABL protein via six different hydrogen bonds, shown here as red dotted lines. Additional interactions are van der Waals interactions and hydrophobic interactions between a hydrophobic pocket of the kinase around one of the rings of Gleevec. Despite its high potency, Gleevec is ineffective in some CML patients due to BCR ABL kinase drug resistance. Besides some BCR ABL independent mechanisms, resistance to Gleevec results either from amplification and elevated expression or from mutation of the BCR ABL gene. The most frequent and also the most potent mutation in Gleevec resistant BCR ABL kinase is the substitution of the amino acid threonine 315 with isoleucine. The substitution of threonine at position 315 with isoleucine not only eliminates one of the major hydrogen bonds between Gleevec and the BCR ABL kinase, but also leads to steric hindrance of Gleevec binding to the protein BCR ABL. Over the past few years, much effort has been made to develop novel kinase inhibitors that also inhibit the mutated BCR ABL kinase. One example is nilotinib, registered trade name Tasigna. This drug inhibits most mutant forms of the BCR ABL kinase and is thus widely used in the second line therapy of certain Gleevec resistant forms of CML. Nevertheless, Tasigna still needs the intact threonine at position 315 to interact with the BCR ABL protein. The drug is therefore ineffective in treating leukemic cells with a mutation at position 315. Tinib could prove effective in overcoming drug resistance based on the 315 mutation. The new drug binds independently of threonine 315 to BCR ABL and has shown high inhibitory activity towards the 315 mutant form of BCR ABL kinase in animal experiments and initial clinical trials.